there are certain people in this world who radiate attractiveness to the point where we want to know weird things about them, like where they hang out, what's their favorite flavor of ice cream, and who they're dating. And there's something surprising that they all have in common. It's that we don't know exactly what it is that makes them attractive. We just know that they are. So today I'm going to delve into science and psychology and show you exactly what your favorite celebrities are doing to make themselves more attractive. And you can easily do these too. I'm also going to show you the one really unusual thing that Amelia Clark, Selena Gomez, and Lana Condor all do that immediately make them seem more attractive to others. Guys, by the time you're finished this video, you're gonna have that it factor like you've never known. Let's start with Amelia Clark. Amelia is drop dead gorgeous, a leading actress, and conveys a humongous range of emotions. Wait, what? Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's take a look at her Instagram. At first glance, Amelia comes across as someone who's down to earth, friendly, funny, quirky, attractive. But why? Well, this is not a coincidence for Amelia. Science shows that we're naturally attracted to people who convey a wide range of emotions rather than hiding their emotions, or people who always have the same expressions. So if we look at Amelia's interviews, we can see that she is super candid about how she's feeling. She is like really not afraid of showing her emotions. You've seen the good bits you've seen the past season. <laughs> it's, it's all downhill from there. No, but this, this study also confirms why you probably relate more to your favorite YouTuber than your favorite movie star. YouTubers are so well known to express so much of their own authentic and raw emotions, helping us feel a connection. Kind of like how Shane Dawson does in this clip. Now guys, empirically, Shane is not your typical Hollywood movie star lookalike. So what can I do with my body? But there's something so compelling about how he conducts himself that makes him almost universally loved, and let's face it, attractive. Just look at the range of depth and emotions across his whole feed. He's vulnerable, he's happy, he's scared, he's nervous, he's coy, and he's joyful. Shay Mitchell is another person who I just think is so attractive. She's freaking gorgeous, and I literally just brought her up with my team here at Ask Kimberly, and everyone just started gushing about how much they love her, how much they want to buy her luggage, how beautiful she is if she's pregnant, and what shows she's on. So for me, that's absolute confirmation that this is a girl who we need to be studying. So let's start by scrolling her Insta. She's doing this in literally all her photos that makes us like her. So what do you think it is? Well guys, look closely. She's looking directly at the camera. Studies do show that people rate photos of others to be more attractive if the person is gazing directly at the camera, like Chrissy Metz of This Is Us is here. If you notice in this clip, she doesn't quite catch our eye as much when she's just doing a run-of-the-mill TV interview. She's not looking at her interviewer or at us with the full strength of her emotions. So if you want to be seen as your most attractive, like Shay or like Chrissy, look people right in the eye when you talk to them and look right at the camera when you're having your portrait taken. This is like an instant attractiveness booster. Now, in addition to looking people in the eye, Marco Robbie does something else to seem even more attractive with her body language. Do you guys see anything consistent here? She's gesturing. You can probably see that moving her hands in this way, it really engages the viewer. It makes you feel like she's your best friend, but it also gives her that attractive and confident je ne sais quoi quality. I'll have a drink for the both of us. Now this unexpected thing also happens when you use your hands. In this clip, Camila Cabello shows us how using hand gestures can make you seem attractive. She's gesturing with her hands, but she's also heavily showing her wrists. Camilla seems even more attractive here because science tells us that showing your wrists can increase attractiveness because it makes you seem a little bit more vulnerable and a little bit more available. So that's why any textbook flirting handbook that outlines the basics of flirting will always mention showing your wrists. And I've even talked about this on Ask Kimberly a couple of times because it is a super easy way to flirt. So you'll see here in these photos that Gal Gadot actually does this in photo form on her Instagram feed in photos with her arms and legs open. In. So she does not do this in a sexual way at all, but she's just kind of playfully saying that she's comfortable and happy in our presence. So if you want to see more attractive, instead of folding your arms or putting them in your pocket, definitely use your hands to speak instead. Now, confidence and beauty go hand in hand, but it's not always in the same way that you think. 
Take actress and model Hunter Schaefer, for example. Now, she is a really interesting and unique beauty with a lot of different features than kind of just like the classic Hollywood starlet. But instead of wearing big fake lashes or fixing that slight bump on her nose with contouring makeup or plastic surgery, she really like embraces her unique look so that she's unmistakably her in every photo and scene. She looks really cool in dramatic eye makeup like this and with a more traditional look like this, but she's truly stunning and memorable when she looks the most like herself, as she does here. Do you remember Jennifer Grey from the movie Dirty Dancing? She had the most unique nose that everyone loved, and as soon as that movie was filmed, everybody would stalk her in public being like, oh my god, you're the girl from Dirty Dancing! But shortly after the movie was filmed, she kind of succumbed to the pressures of Hollywood and actually got a nose job to make herself look a little bit more like the standard Hollywood beauty. And the crazy thing about her doing that is that after she got the nose job, it's really sad. Nobody recognized her anymore. She just looked like everybody else. And unfortunately, her movie career actually went downhill after that. So figure out what's different about you. Maybe you know what it is. Maybe it's something that you try to hide. And actually, instead of trying to hide it, show it off a little bit more. And eventually, others are going to grow to see those features as really special and attractive too. For me personally, I have a really unique nose. When I was little, I thought that it was actually quite big, and now I've grown to love it. I also have this really weird quirk with my mouth that sometimes my lip gets a little bit twisty when I talk, especially when I'm nervous, and this is something I've always been super embarrassed about. I'm also super duper short. I'm only five foot two. So instead of trying to look taller or change my nose or fix my twisty lip, I have really tried to embrace these things in my own life and show those off because at the end of the day, there's no one else like me and there's there's no one else like you. Now, if you guys have seen some of my other videos, there's also a lot of research out there emphasizing that attractiveness is related to how feminine or masculine you are, but this isn't necessarily how everyone identifies themselves. But if you want to, you can play up your femininity by swaying your hips when you walk, the way Carly Kloss does on the runway, as you can see here. Now, Kim Kardashian is a really extreme example of someone who's gone to great lengths to play up her femininity by using extreme corseting and plastic surgery. So you don't necessarily want to do that, but if you do want to follow one of her tricks, you can emphasize the higher register of your voice. Hi Vogue, it's Kim. Studies have shown that women with a higher pitched voice can come across as more attractive because it makes them seem more youthful and thus in a more prime baby making state. Now guys, I'll admit, we've talked a lot in this video on things that make you attractive that relate to your outward appearance. But I think your inner beauty is actually the most important thing and there are so many ways that you can show that to other people on the outside too. I love actress Lana Condor. She is so cute and she's so humble. And I want you guys to watch this clip. It's when she's telling an embarrassing story about how she and Noah Centineo first met. And I start feeling his presence coming towards me. He sits down right next to me. And he's like, hey, so like you wanna read lines together? And I was like, no, sorry. She is not afraid to be embarrassed. She's not afraid to look a little silly. And having that sense of humor about yourself is just super appealing to other people. It just really shows off her inner beauty. She's not afraid to crack like a little joke at herself or make fun of herself a bit. And that just shows that she's really beautiful on the inside. That makes all of us see that she'd probably be a really nice person to hang around with and that she's also super confident. Now, I bet you guys are wondering what Selena Gomez, Lana Condor, and Amelia Clark all do that makes them so much more attractive. Well, the truth is, guys, that these ladies are all super amazing and unique, but what separates them from the crowd even more is that they're just really freaking good people. Scientific research shows that people who are beautiful on the inside and help others are seen as more attractive. And you can probably tell this is true just by looking at Selena Gomez, who has been involved in all kinds of charitable work since she was a teenager. When Selena uses her platform to help others, there's what's called a halo effect around her, which makes us feel good about admiring her. Without our bias towards those who do good, we think all those evil Disney queens are just as beautiful as the princesses. And they do have amazing bone structure right? But maybe for our own safety, it's human nature to prefer someone like Selena, who seems to be showing us her kindness in her eyes right here. 
Lana Condor and Amelia Clark also have this halo effect around them when they are doing work towards their own charities. So unlike the size of our lips or the shape of our jaws, the ability to do nice things for others is something that we all actually have control over, which is amazing. And the best part is it really works. All right guys, I hope you loved that video about how to be more attractive. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, Ask Kimberly, if you want more videos like this, relationship advice, tips, and lots of giveaways. I love you all, and I'll see you next week for another video all about relationships. Bye.